Chase, Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon and a hot off the press on Voodoo.com is Nicolas Cage, Willy's Wonderland. Have I been waiting for this movie? Absolutely. Who does not want to watch Nicolas Cage defeat animatronic mascots? I'll let you know what I thought of this movie. So this movie stars, of course, Nicolas Cage and what it's about. It's literally what I said in the intro. Nicolas Cage driving down the road. Tires pop. He needs to find a way to fix the car. People did fix the car, but he has no cash. In getting cash, he has to fix and clean Willie's Wonderland. But inside, devious, demonic animatronics are there to kill Nicolas Cage. Or is Nicolas Cage there to kill the animatronic. So in this movie, do not expect Nicolas Cage to talk. You know what he sounds like when he drinks a soda and he goes, oh, that is going to be in my brain forever. Knowing if I hear that sound, I'll be like, is that Nicolas Cage? I think it's Nicolas Cage sipping a soda. But that is what, that, that's just like his dialogue in this movie is absolutely phenomenal. But with this movie, I was expecting a little bit more. And I'm sad to say it because I went in thinking this is going to be bonkers absolutely bonkers it is bonkers and i do like some stuff with this movie so let's go to the positive very minimal cgi and i do like that of course people are going to be like oh pff, animatronic mascots basically furries you expect furries to be scary they're not supposed to be scary i think there is a point for it to be somewhat funny and sinister at the same time because it does give you a backstory and kind of like the halfway point of why these animatronics are actually alive and what they're doing and why what and why they're doing what they're doing to this town. But you go with some acting as well. There are some acting flaws in this movie. Nicolas Cage does Nicolas Cage this movie. He's pretty tame this movie until the final pinball scene. I was dying at that final pinball scene. But then of course you have to add, to add more characters into this movie. A bunch of teenagers trying to burn down Willy's Wonderland. And you do see that in the trailer. And there's some people in that scene where you're just like, okay, you're a wash away character. You're just in here for the horror tropes of having sex and dying. And that's about it for you to be in this movie. You kind of understand it. But Willie's wondering, what do you expect from the trailer? Literally, the trailer came out a month ago and it goes, oh, new Nicolas Cage movie. Oh, it's Five Nights with, at Freddy's, but with Nicolas Cage. And it's rated R with blood, guts, and oil. So, overall, I enjoyed it. No one's going to say this is a good movie. You could say this is a freaking weird movie that will make you laugh and smile about what am I watching. There's literally an American History X curve stomp in this movie. You're like, oh, curve stomp. But other than that, it's weird. It's weird. I could see it as being like kind of a cult status movie, like, with a lot of his movies coming out, like, you know, uh, was it Color of the Earth, Color of the Space? I have it somewhere. Color, color, color. Yeah, Color of the Space. Honestly, I think I preferred Willy's Wonderland over Color of the Space because Willy's Wonderland, it was just, just so goofy and fun and just over-the-top weird and and pinball. And, and pinball. <laughs> so go there. So, Willie's Wonderland will receive a 3.5 out of 5 blue Putin's because that's 70%. So, see the critics who scores gave this one. So, we have the critics, a 59% with 27 reviews. There's fewer than 50 audience score. So, right now, it is a zero. Well, I'm not going to call it a zero. I'll call it a flat line. And here's critic consensus. Willie's Wonderland isn't quite as much fun as the premise would suggest. But it's still got Nicolas Cage being the hell out of some bloodthirsty animatronics, which is nice. I might have to agree with that uh, critic consensus. I mean, I was expecting a little bit more, more blood and guts, honestly. I mean, the very end goes into the gore territory, but getting there, it took a little bit longer than I wanted to. But overall, Willie's Wonderland, it's weird. You're going to have a pretty much a good time if you want. If you want. It really is, actually, if you want to have a good time, you will. And that's what it is. So do you agree with the 59%, my 70 on the flat line? Chase out with the blue food to like, comment, subscribe. One of the things is Bhutan Topia. You poop Tony. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. Love you all. Let's get to 400 subscribers. Let's do this. <laughs>